Hello, everybody. This is Sapphire Financial Training. This is Miss Lambert. Yes, I like to be called Miss Lambert. I'm not too fond of Miss Lisa. And I used to tell my students all the time, they don't do it anymore, though. They just call me Miss Lambert. I don't, I don't like the Miss Lisa thing. Uh, but, uh, you know, of course, yeah, we're going through something. And uh, the virus is definitely spreading. Okay. Uh, since we do have, you know, an issue, the COVID-19, uh, uh, I'm working at home because I work at home on Monday and Tuesday and on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, I go in the hospital, but, um, that's just one of the, you know, perks of, you know, learning how to code and doing billing and things like that because, um, you never know what's going to happen, you know, and, you know, during this type of thing, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of just, you know, putting this out there, especially for like, uh, people who are going to be home. So I know some, some people are going to be home and some people are going to be working and some people are going to not be working. And I think I did hear on the news that people are going to have to apply for unemployment. Um, only during this time, um, I am going to, I'm going to open this classroom uh, for you guys to go in there and I'm not going to be teaching. I'm not going to start teaching until April 5th, like I said, but I think I want to open up the class so you guys can see what this is about. Some of you guys are home uh, and just, you know, not doing anything or just wondering, you know, what's going to go on, what's going to happen, you know, what if it happens again? I mean, this is crazy. I've never heard of anything like this in the United States. Uh, I think about all those movies. You remember the movie with the monkey who had the disease and the this and the that? It's like all this crazy stuff comes true. You know, remember there was a movie out about 911 before it even happened. So it's so scary. But, um, you know, as far as the uh, Sapphire classes, uh, again, you know, we teach coding and it is an online class. Uh, there will be materials in there for you guys to utilize. Uh, the Sapphire Coding and Billing Sessions will start April 5th. Um, on the Facebook, on the business page, say Facebook, I did put the feed tuition for the classroom. Um, but if you guys go to Amazon, purchase the book, let me see the receipt for the book, which they'll send me an email anyway. Uh, I'm going to let you guys in the classroom. Some of y'all want to learn coding. Um, at this time, I got to do something. I don't know what else to do. I have to contribute to what the society is going through. So I'm going to open up this classroom for zero price. And I'm going to let you guys in there for 30 days. So whatever you can get out of 30 days, after 30 days, your password will expire. You cannot get back into the classroom. Tell me what you're going to get out of this classroom. And again, you have to purchase the book. So once I get the email with your name and everything and you purchase the book, that's fine. One of the other things you have to do, you have to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me. I have to do a consultation with you. Uh, okay, you have to purchase the book. One of the things is because the book will give you an idea of what coding is, um, what the billing is about within the coding. So I'm not going to do a long drawn out class on billing. That's not the gist of it. The billing is this much, even though, you know, I've got 20 hours of billing or 25 hours of billing. The gist of this class is to teach you how to code. So I did put on the Facebook, um, the theory and the practice and the lectures. Okay. It's 20 hours of straight training. That's the only thing you're not going to get from here. I'm not going to do straight training with that 20 hours you're not going to get. You're going to get your 40 hours of theory, your 40 hours of practice. You can practice any test you want to, whatever's here. So long as you shoot me an email, that's the only way you can get into the classroom. I need to know your email so that I can give you permission to go in the classroom. You will be given a user ID and you will be given a password. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to put this on Facebook, especially to, you know, my Facebook friends. So those of, those of you who do look at this uh, video, um, send me an email, shoot me something. I'm going to let you get into the classroom because I'm still actually uploading the classroom. You can get a sneak peek at what's going to go on in this classroom. The gist of it is already in there. The course description, the course curriculum is in there. The outline of the class is in there. You guys, the schedule is already in there. Um, 
the CPT chapters and ICD-10 chapters, the ICD-10 chapters are there. There are 21 chapters for you to look at so you can kind of get used to it. Um, it's nothing I can do about the books for you. You have to go to thrift books, order the five dollar book, order the fifteen dollar book. They are old, but just let them see. You let you see what's inside there. Um, the books are updated. When you actually do uh, start the class, um, you will need to have new books because I've got to follow pages with you guys in the new books. So you're gonna to have to have the new books. Uh, I would appreciate it if you guys do go ahead and order the books because they're on sale right now at AAPC. I think you get all three for two hundred and something dollars. Those three books you will need: the ICD-10 CM 2020. You will need that. Okay, the CPT 2020, you need that. The Hicks Picks 2020, you need that. We all have to go by the same book as far as the class production. If you can't, that's fine. I don't mind you go ahead and get use your thrift book, but you know, when you get closer down to the end in your course, you gotta get those books because your test is gonna be based on your 2020, 2020 book. Okay, uh 219, I think it's still okay, you know, as far as us following. They didn't change it that much, but um, Again, you know, you just have to be careful of it. Even, you know, the code that's going to come out for the COVID-19, um, they're using a similar type of flu code right now because that's how they keep track of it. Remember what I was telling you about, you know, somebody has AIDS, HIV, this, that, flu, STD. That's how we keep track of it. ICD-10 codes. There's no way they would know. What are they going to do? Count every person? No. That when us as coders put in that ICD-10 CM code. The CDC knows how many people has it. The WHO, WHO World Health Organization, they know how many people had it. Remember, World Health Organization, they developed that ICD-10, okay? The ICD-10 CM was developed for the United States. Some people have ICD-10 AM, some people have ICD-10 something else. So, you know, there are many, many different ones. But um, again, uh, just, you know, open your book, you know, you're going to be home. I mean, my understanding, the kids are going to be out uh, in New York City for to April 20th. I'm pretty sure it's going to be longer. Uh, in Connecticut, uh, I think they've already closed their schools either today or tomorrow. Uh, in North Carolina, there are minimal schools closed. And you guys know I always mention these states because those are the states that I run through, those three right there. So, um, you know, and, and that's what we're talking about. Um, so right now I'm just kind of looking online at the, at the syllabus that I do have up. I am going to read through the syllabus so you guys can see it because I cannot put this on Facebook. Uh, this is only in the classroom. Okay. The Sapphire Coding and Billing Session. Your instructor is Ms. Lambert. Okay. The classroom hours are Monday and Friday, four to six. Now that is the, uh, uh, classroom hours that I will be in the classroom live. Okay. So if you guys send me something, I'm answering it right away because I'm already in the classroom. If I'm not, you still can send me an email in reference to something. Okay. On your, um, on your class description, um, the email is there. The website is there. My phone number is there for you to get to me. Um, classroom description, uh, objective introduction to coding and billing and passing your CPC exam. Okay. I will not tell you when you are ready to pass your exam. This class is about readiness. You will feel it when you are ready to pass your exam, uh, or ready to take it, or even if you just want to see what's on it, you have to be prepared. You have to have some type of training in order for you to take that test. Okay. Uh, ob objective again, CPC certification. Okay. You will have tutoring, study guides, practice tests, lectures, quiz, uh, exams, competency. This course is based on competency. You will get a medical terminology competency. You will get a medical billing competency. You will get a coding competency. The competency will exist of ICD-10, uh, CPT, and also HICSPIX. Okay. You will also have individual tests in reference to those things. You will have a hundred hours of this class session. 100 hours. You can utilize your 100 hours the way you want to, okay? You need to do an hour Friday, okay. You need to do three hours Sunday, okay. That's your time. The schedule is set for 100 hours, okay? Um, the session is primarily seven weeks, but I did put an extra three weeks on it because I want you guys to see uh, what will go on with that. So uh, basically, it's going to be 10 weeks, okay? Uh, and I did cancel... My, I knew they was going to cancel it. I'm sorry. I'm looking at AAPC. I 
I canceled already. I canceled the Disney trip. I called them. I Listen, I'm not going. Uh, and I'm sorry. I, they're sending me an email from AAPC that the trip was canceled. I already knew that there's no way they can have the convention. There's no way. And I was so excited. I was ready to go. You know, you meet all the coders and, and you know, we got a free pass to Disney. We got had the resort. Every... <sighs> Let me tell you something. I did a lot to plan for that trip, but I, there's no way I got grandkids and I can mm -mm, my boys will be missing me. Uh, and, and you know, Wendy can't live without me. So, you know, so you guys don't know who Wendy is. This is YouTube, but you know, that's my twin over there. She's in the OR. So, you know, she had to go to work today. Um, uh, but anyway, see how I get thrown off. So, uh, the sessions are actually 10 weeks. Uh, I put seven weeks on the board in the Facebook because I want people to see, you know, you can learn it quickly, but I'm not going to let you out until actually 10 weeks. The last three weeks are case study. Okay. So, uh, material, you need books, you need your flash drive, smartphone, or computer. The discussion board, the discussion board, the discussion board is the classroom. That is the discussion board. You guys are talking together. You guys are talking to me. You guys are listening to what I'm telling you. You will get that in the discussion board. That is the classroom. This is the forum where the students will ask questions and post assignments. The students will also have the ability to give the instructor feedback and request live one-on-one -on -one sessions. Okay? I'm reading from your class description, okay? That's what I'm reading from. This is in the file in the classroom. You go in the classroom, you go in the library, class discussion. That's the file you want to look at. That's where you're going to see that. That's what I'm telling you. Everything in this course is visual. It's visual. You need to read it 10 times because you're not clear on it. Read it 10 times. You still can't get it, Ms. Lambert. What is it? That's all you have to do. Okay, so that's the discussion board. Sapphire coding classroom files. That's what we were just talking about. These are the files you will retrieve all of your assignments from. You can put them or save them to your computer. Please see the PowerPoint on how to work at Moodle. At Moodle is the class. That is the class. It's at Moodle.com. Okay. Visual video chat links. The visual video chat links are these videos. I'm going to upload videos. Now there are videos that I'm using for the classroom that are not posted on YouTube. These videos that I'm giving you on YouTube, those are videos anybody can see. The classroom videos more than likely, are those videos nobody have seen. Those videos that I make, I put them in the classroom in the files, okay? There will be a link in there for you to get them, okay? Visual video chat links. Students can view these links as many times as they choose. These links are posted for Sapphire Coding students only. The lecture videos are not public. They are not public, okay? They're just for the students. Okay, live lectures. Live lectures, you can communicate with the instructor on the live forum. The live sessions will be recorded and uploaded into Sapphire Classroom. You can sign into the classroom, go to the file, open the link, and play the lecture. Post any questions you have about the lecture in the discussion board. As you are watching the video, you can type in what you want. You can listen to the video and text me what you want. Ms. Lambert, I'm here and you said what I don't understand what you said. You're looking at the video and you're texting me at the same time or emailing me however you want to. Just let me know which video you are on. Okay. Uh, post any questions you have about the lecture in the DB. The instructor will be in the classroom during the classroom hours, which are Monday and Friday, four to six. Okay. These hours are for your immediate questions to be answered and for assignments to be posted and distributed. Your quiz, your tests, your exams, they will be posted on the discussion board. Okay. When you submit your exams and tests back to me, you will post them to me on the discussion board. They will only go to me. No one else can see your quiz. No one else can see your test. And remember I mentioned just a, a while ago, uh, if you are sending me something and it is just for me, do not post it to the whole form of the classroom, form of the classroom so they cannot see it. If it's something personal, if it's something X, Y, Z, you just hit Miss Lambert only. Okay. And I'm the only one who will get that. Okay, uh, so again, uh, lecture uploads, uh, after every lecture, after I do a lecture, it's, uh, I change from eight to nine, and then I do seven to eight, and then, then there's another one from, I think it's 10 to 11, but that's on your course schedule, but let's, let's see what we have here. Lecture uploads. After every lecture, Ms. Lambert will upload the lecture as a link. 
she will upload the lecture as a link. As soon as I finish the lecture, I'm uploading it. So if you scheduled, uh, if I'm scheduled to do a lecture from 8 to 9, that lecture is uploaded by 9.30. If I'm scheduled to do a lecture by 10 to 11, that lecture should be uploaded 15 minutes after I do it. Okay, so... Uh, after every lecture, Ms. Lambert will upload the lecture as a link in the classroom file to be viewed. Take notes. Go to the chapter or subject folder that was discussed in the lecture. Open that folder. The link for the session is there. Students can ask questions about the lecture or request a one-on-one -on -one about the lecture. One-on-one -on -one sessions are Saturday and Sunday, 5 to 6. Consultations are from 7 to 8 p.m. That's new students, okay? So you guys, that's why I told you, I need for you guys to go on the website. You can hit it on Facebook and go on the website. I, I put the exact times that I'll be available for one-on-one. -on -one. This is us talking about the class, which we're doing now, but you have to do the consultation with me. Uh, I have to see if, you know, this is something for you. You have to see if this is something for you, if this is something you want to do, because you have to be committed. It's not me who's going to get you to pass the test. This is independency. Online school is independency. Online school is doing what you need to do. Nobody has to micromanage you like a baby. You know, I had somebody tell me one time, uh, uh, you know, I'm making up names. Janetta went to school. Um, she went to a real school. She didn't go online. She went, she went to a real school. In the meantime, this person barely has a GED. This person is doing like housekeeping. Really? Are you judging people who go to school online and you barely have a GED and you've been doing housekeeping for 22 years? Nothing is wrong with housekeeping, but you do not judge other people because online schooling is a lot harder than going in the classroom. They triple your work. Check it out. Find out. They triple your work in online because we got to know if you can retain this work. We got to know if the information that's given to you got it. If you go to a uh, Traditional school, you might get two, three tests, but when you online, you got to do four or five companies. We got to know that you got it in here, you know, and in this classroom, if you don't have it, then you got to take it again. I cannot release you from the class unless you take it again. You have to, you have to, you have to retake it. I have to be confident that you've passed your exams. You have to pass. That's why it's a competency based program. Okay. So let's get to the theory and the practice. Okay. And the total hours. Okay. Remember, it's a 10-week course. It's a 10-week course. The last three uh, sessions of the course, the last three weeks of the course, that's where you will be doing cases. Nothing but cases. Everything you do will be cases. Before that, you will be doing uh, theory and practice. Uh, medical terminology, uh, you will identify prefixes, suffixes, root words, uh, medical abbreviations, and symbols. You will describe the systems of the body. You should, you should know this. This is what the theory and the, and the practice is going to be about. This is what this section is about. Okay, review all medical terminology terms at the back of each chapter in the CPC guidelines. Okay, in the CPC guidelines, you will have uh, medical terminology in your language of medicine. You're going to look at those too, but your main goal is to pass your CPC. So the CPC guidelines, you will have that. That's why I said in the CPC uh, guide, uh, don't worry about that because I'm going to have that guide locked down in here. That's what we're going to work through. So uh, you don't have to purchase purchase that. OK, because that's what we're going to work through at the end. Yeah, I want you to purchase that so you can go through that one on one by yourself. The new one, the 221. OK, you have quiz, test, competencies and then your final. OK, there's 10 hours of theory, 10 hours of practice. They all equal 20 hours for that session. Medical insurance billing. OK, that's two. Describe the eligibility process of the major insurance carriers. Demonstrate proper completion of a HIC for 1500 and a UB92, UB04, okay? Documents and quiz available for student and practice exams and the discussion board, okay? Available information for the study of the online medical billing system. That's the practice management. Remember I said we got uh, IDX, uh, Epic, uh, NextGen, Myces Tiger, Athena, uh, Meditech, uh, Metasoft, that's practice management. Those are systems. Um, you guys wouldn't have that at home to look at, but I got a PowerPoint on that. Don't worry about it. Uh, just as long as you have an insight and you kind of know what it is. Uh, and there's also demonstrations in there because sometimes when you go on the test, uh, when you go on an interview, you know, they want to see if you know all about it because, um, uh, you guys know I work at, I work at Stanford hospital, so I'm, 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 I'm way over here, but 
they have people who, you know, before you do it, you got to take, you know, tests and different things like that, coding tests and stuff like that. So that's what I want you guys to be precarious about, especially that um, PMP. I've called it PMP as practice management. Okay. So just, um, just be precarious to that. Okay. So discussion board topics, commercial insurance, government insurance, copay, deductible, fee schedules, compliance, HIPAA. HIPAA, identify the types of services, place of service, occurrence codes, revenue codes, and value codes description. That's the medical insurance that you're going to learn about. That's the medical billing that you're going to learn about. You, this is what it's about. Quiz, test, competency, and final medical insurance billing. Okay? That's what it's about. Medical coding, that's three. That's your session three. That's your course three, okay? Practice test, quiz, medical billing and code and study guide review. That's your medical coding and study guide, um, billing study guide Q&A, okay? AAPC, code and material review, demonstrate diagnosis, procedures, HICS, PICS, level two, and coding instructions. Uh, CPT, ICD-10, and also Higgs Picks Level 2. That I just said that. Okay, so review the CPT book in its entirety. Uh, students will work independently and all subjects uh, all subjects' work will be given in the classroom within the discussion board and the class files. Again, this is the end of your test. Quiz, test, competencies, and your final. You will have all that. There's, I don't know, I think I got about over 100 quizzes. Um... There's a lot of quiz with that because I got to know that you guys are competent with that. So how that goes is you might get a quiz Sunday, quiz Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You're going to get a quiz every time. So every time I have a session, every time I do a, a, uh, a lecture, you're going to have a quiz. Okay, you're going to have a quiz. Okay, again, quiz, test, competencies, and final. Okay, you're going to use your step-by-step -step coding book, ICD-10-CM, CPT, and HICSPIX. Okay, okay. This is four, coding cases. That's that last three weeks I was telling you about. That's that last three weeks. Last three weeks of the session, students will demonstrate the ability to finalize coding of cases. This will be done for all chapters. The students should be able to identify code aspects, research a code utilized, and coding CPT guidelines, ICD-10-CM guidelines with Hicks Picks Manual as well. 28, theory, and 10, practice. So... That's 100 hours. That's 100 hours right there. So I just pretty much kind of broke that down to you so you could see, you know, what the description is about. So let me see. That's already in there. So I put uh, what I'm looking at, I already put down on, uh, I put it on my Facebook so you guys can see it. Again, in the Facebook is Sapphire Financial Training, uh, LLBC, uh, LLBC Fink. Uh, is Lisa Lambert billing and coding uh, finance and the chaos for Karen. So that's what this is about. So basically, that's all I want you guys to do. Uh, just kind of, you know, review the subject matter, review the subject matter, especially since people are going to be home uh, during the virus. And uh, I don't think anybody really knows how long, you know, it's going to last or, you know, What's going to go on with it? Uh, I'm looking for a section so I could kind of go over that with you guys. Uh, so this is kind of some of what I what I put on Facebook. And you guys probably can't see it. Uh, 20 hours of online training, 40 hours of theory, 40 hours of practice. Okay. The hours are set for after work hours on, and on the weekend. Okay. The discussion board is from 4 to 6. You guys know that already. Okay. Learn medical coding. You can work from home. Visit the website. Information on how to join the sessions are, sessions are there. Okay, you want to know about the sessions? Take a look. You want to know, uh, you know, how to pay online? Take a look. You can do everything online. You can pay for the book online. You can, you know, email me online. Whatever you want to do. You know, you can click on Amazon online. Whatever you want to do. Um, let's try to, you know, let's try to get you going. So. That's the basis of this. This is 25 minutes, and you know, you guys know I did not want to go this long. But again, you know, I want you to go into the session, see what it's about, and see if it's for you. But you got to buy the book. Got to buy the book. Okay? 
uh, let's go. Right now, I'm going to go into Facebook, and I'm just going to put a little note there. Uh, this video is going to go into the Facebook, so don't worry about that. Uh, some of you guys are on Facebook. You can go into that. But this video also goes in the classroom. And those students that are in the other class, not the Sapphire class, they have access to this, and other people have access to this. But I'm not making it a broad out thing right now, because right now, I'm just trying to keep it, keep it low um, to just kind of develop the class and get it smaller. Let me see, you know how we're going to work through it. Okay, so uh, I'm just trying to wait till this 25 minutes goes in, and then I'm gonna review this, and then next time I come on, I'll give you a little bit more insight on it. Uh, but again, this is a remote coding. Uh, you can code in-house, you can code home, uh, you can you know code for a hospital that's in a different state. Uh, again, you know, you guys can take it to the next level. But, you know, again, I'm not the one who's going to tell you when you're ready for your test. When you start getting comfortable, you're reading those guidelines over and over and different things like that. That's when you're ready. Because some people, it takes a long time to, to really start mastering this stuff. Um, the, you know, bones, integumentary system, cardiology, the lymphatic system, the lymphatic system, right? Uh, so, you know, it, it, it takes a while. And again, they're talking about like, you know, the CDC, World Health Organization, and all these people who actually do with um, diseases and uh, these codes and, you know, this worldwide stuff. We are not medical doctors and we're not surgeons, but we do do the coding for these things. And um, they're giving those tests out, you know, free. So, you know, everybody, you know, go ahead and, you know, take and do what you got to do. If you have to work home go into sapphire financial training see what's in there this is all about coding let me put that little thing in there remote coding if you choose to okay have a good day